what's up guys welcome to another video it is another Monday the third Monday of the program we got squats we got bench same old same old and because I said I need to find like new like different ways to kind of mix everything up since my stuff is gonna get kind of repetitive I thought today in between sets I can give y'all like some of my some of my personal tips for getting started on your fitness journey because I get this question a lot I feel like you know what hey I'll just go ahead I'll do this cuz I'm so low dolo tonight my cousin is gone for a week she ain't gonna be back till Thursday man so I I'm scrambling in here by myself but it's okay cuz I got y'all I'm gonna take y'all through the workout but I'm gonna add in some of my tips for getting started on your fitness journey so if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back sit tight sit no yeah hang tight enjoy the video and enjoy the tips and uh let's move this weight man i'm ready You guys just watched me warm up to 280 pounds. We have this for tonight's top set. It is a set of five at RPE eight. So, fingers crossed that I hit the right RPE. RPE eight might end up looking a little shaky at the end, you know what I'm saying? So, we gonna see what's good with it. I feel like, I feel good and not good at the same time. I don't know, I'm about to move this way. You know how I do, it's just, is it gonna be RPE eight? Let's hope so. But uh, the first tip is gonna come after this first, this top set or whatever. And then we're just gonna keep it moving like that. It's 940 and I got a lot of squats and a lot of bench. So let's get to it. What a set. I did not expect it to move like that, so turn up for that. Yeah. But tip number one for getting started on your fitness journey, you have to personalize your own journey because if you try to follow anybody else's, it can throw you off. So there's a couple of things that you have to like personalize for yourself to make it your own. You gotta find your find your style of training, find like your place to train, there's some people that can train at Planet Fitness and make big, big gains. I am not one of those people. So if I tried to work out at Planet Fitness, I'd be screwed, you know what I'm saying? You gotta find what, how you, you know, how you wanna work out, you wanna, once again, do you wanna power lift, do you wanna bodybuild, do you wanna do CrossFit, do you wanna do yoga, what you wanna do? Find that out, find out where it is that you need to train. Do you need a commercial gym? You need a warehouse gym? Do you need a gym like Planet Fitness? Do you need a 24 hour quiet closed off gym? Do you need an, a, a, the gym in like your apartment complex? What you need, where do you where do you work out the best? Is it at your house? You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta figure that out. Find out which type of, which type of diet it is that you wanna follow. You have to take all aspects of your fitness journey and cater them to yourself. And when you do that, it's going to start you off in a much better position to continue on with your fitness journey as opposed to trying to follow somebody else's path. Follow your path and let's get in to the next set. Okay, set two is in the bag. I didn't say it, 
but this is 260 pounds. I have um, a three by five with this and then an AMRAP set. So we'll see. But uh, tip number two is to document your progress. So when I first started working out, I used to take videos or pictures all the time even before anybody was paying attention to them like on the internet and I'm telling you like those days where you feel like you haven't made any progress whether it's strength physique wise if you feel like you haven't made any progress looking back at your progress can help out a lot that's so much motivation right there too many people you know and especially starting off they're just like oh I don't want to I don't want to see myself. You just take the, just take the picture, take the video. Ain't nobody say you got to look at it right now. But later on, that stuff is going to come in handy when you need that extra push, when you need to see like, shit, okay, that's what I looked like three months ago. Bet in three more months, <laughs> I'm going to look back at the picture I'm going to take today and I'm going to look even more different. You know what I'm saying? So document your progress. Pictures, videos, track your workouts. You know what I'm saying? Like... Just do that because you're gonna like it in the end. And who doesn't love a good Transformation Tuesday picture, right? Next set. Okay, one more set, and then the AMRAP. AMRAP, for anybody that doesn't know, is as many reps as possible. Um, tip number three. Tip number three is, don't try to do too much too fast. So I have so many people, they'll ask me, like, you know, hey, I'm just trying to get started. I really haven't worked out in a couple of years. Like, what supplements and stuff do you think I should go get? Like, don't boggle yourself down with all of that because it's really unnecessary to a certain extent. You know, if you are like me and you work out really late at night after work, like maybe maybe you should go ahead and go get your pre-workout or whatever. But when you go inside GNC or Vitamin Shop or wherever else you go, you're gonna get uh, harassed by the workers. They're going to try to get you to buy everything in the store. And I, if you're so excited to get started on your fitness journey, it's easy to get lost in that stuff. You don't need to go out and get all of this equipment. You don't need to go out and get all of these supplements. All you need to do is get yourself together and go work. The supplements, the equipment, don't get so caught up in all of that stuff that you never get started on your fitness journey because you're trying to start it perfectly. There's no perfect way to start besides just starting. You know what I'm saying? So tip number three, don't get too caught up in all of the fitness hype. Just go do you and everything else will come with time. Last set before the AMRAP, let's knock this out, man. I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> Okay, last tip for squats. Don't be like too hard on yourself. So yeah, find what, you know, a, a program you wanna stick with, but don't try to jump in like head first. If you go from last week, all week all you ate was Taco Bell, Wendy's, Cookout, Burger King, McDonald's, all of that, and then this week you think you're gonna eat all salads, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna burn out and then you're gonna fall back harder than you were before honestly ease your way into it still do it in a way that you're going to push yourself just make better decisions and set yourself up for success you know what i'm saying set a realistic goal because if you set realistic goals and you accomplish those goals that's extra motivation to continue to conquer all of the other goals that you set up so if you start off with okay i'm gonna go to the gym three days a week no questions right you do that for three weeks in a row you're just like man shoot that's easy i'm used to it now i'm gonna bump it up to four 
you can you can work your way up to going to the gym six seven days a week but give yourself time to get there like you're gonna get there just take your time it's all gonna come we all gonna make gains but once i get over to the bench i got more tips coming so stay tuned for time's sake i had to go ahead and hurry up and get to my working set for bench we have what what do i have <laughs> let's see i didn't warm the hell up bench I have two sets of five, one at RPE 7, one at RPE 8, and then three sets of five with 180 pounds. So I got 190 pounds on the bar. I feel like I could do 195, but I really want to try to hit that one, that uh, that RPE 7. So we're going to do this, try to stay tight, get the movement going, and then I got another tip for y'all. So set one. set <laughs> man that felt great i didn't watch i like didn't watch oh okay i didn't watch it yet but it felt pretty good man felt pretty good but anyway y'all don't care about all of that y'all just care about the tips this next tip is get like if even if you can't get a gym partner somebody to go with you on a consistent basis get you at least an accountability partner somebody that's you know waiting for you to text them and let them know that you went to the gym you know what you did or something like that and it makes a big difference if you can do the gym partner thing like as often as you can shoot for it because I really make the best gains honestly when I have a gym partner you know what I'm saying like it's just extra motivation extra encouragement and it helps on those days where you don't feel like going but your gym partner does you know what i'm saying like it, it turns into well shit i can't let them down if you're just going by yourself all the time you don't have anybody else that's a part of your journey sometimes it's hard to be the push that you need yourself so gym partner or accountability partner or you know shoot even if like if you're popular on twitter make that a thing you know make it so that people are expecting you to go to the gym and say something about the gym or upload a picture or something like that because just getting that hey man i ain't seen you in the gym in a while can go a long way so that's the next tip for the next set i'm still trying to think about what it is i'm gonna do because now it's rpe 8 still a set of five but rpe 8 and that last one i think was a perfect rpe 7 so i'm like i kind of want to really push it and go for 200. I want to do it, man, but I'm not sure. We're going to see. Surprise, surprise. Next clip, next tip on the way. What a set, boy, what a set. 200 pounds, five times off of my chest, RPE8. Boy, like we live, man. So, the next tip. The next tip is to make sure you don't skip in the early stages of your fitness journey, along with the later stages, but especially in the early stages, make sure you don't skip all of like the rehab because that stuff is important and what you don't want to do is wait until you need the rehab to get into the rehab and I don't mean you know physical therapy necessarily I'm saying icing stretching sitting in the sauna not just stretching but like you know actual like yoga doing mobility work to keep your joints loose all of that stuff don't skip out on that stuff in the beginning because it can like developing those habits early on will help you out tremendously as you continue along with your fitness journey make sure you stay hydrated make sure you're you know if you can the supplements i do suggest would be like regular vitamins to help with like joint support if you can you know if you want to get some supplements get that type of stuff make sure you're drinking as as much of a gallon a day as you can like do that type of stuff in the beginning so you get used to it your body 
it's going to hurt. When you start your fitness journey, it's going to hurt. That could just make it hurt a little bit less. So take care of your body. That's, that's a big thing. That's not even just a, when you just get started type of thing. That's a, everybody involved in any type of fitness. You need to take care of your body so your body takes care of you. Now, we're down to 180 pounds for, I think I got two sets of five or three sets of five and then the AMRAP set. So knock that out and running, rolling low on time like always. So after we finish on the bench, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up so I can finish. But hopefully these tips are helping and we have either two or three more tips uh, left for tonight. So stay tuned and do me a favor, stop what you're doing right quick and like this video for these tips. Like this video for that set that you just saw and then also get a sip of water. Next set. set it did feel kind of heavy I'm not gonna lie to you but I mean I'm kind of tired and I'm cool with it feeling heavy after that set with 200 pounds you know what I'm saying so but um the next tip is find people that motivate you and you know kind of if you feel like going to the gym if you don't feel like going to the gym then you know like go check them out so pretty much I'm speaking about like social media I guess you can still do this with people that, you know, like in real life or whatever. I'm just speaking like for myself when I first, when I first got, matter of fact, I think it was like around the time that I joined One Life, I started finding fitness channels on YouTube of people that were kind of similar to me. And that right there is such a motivation. When I don't want to come, I just turn on some of their videos and I see them making them gains. I see them, you know, being disciplined, going to the gym when they don't feel like it, all of that. And it just lets me know like, hey man, get your ass up and go to the gym. Because if you decide that you're not gonna work, I need you to know that somebody is out there working. You know what I'm saying? And it's somebody that's out there working to be better than you at what it is that you do. I'm kind of competitive, so that's kind of how I look at it. But either way, it's still that added like, come on man, get up, get in there, go to the gym. You need to go, whatever. So find, if it's Instagram, if it's Twitter, if it's YouTube, whatever it is, find somebody. It's so many people out here doing the fitness thing now, man. So there's definitely somebody that's doing something that you, you know what I'm saying? Like there's definitely a page somewhere that you could find that you could go to as your extra boost to get into the gym. My head is cut off, is this a weird clip? Sorry, man. Yeah, find somebody that motivates you. When you don't feel like going, if you do feel like going, watch them. And that's helpful because number one, you're watching whatever it is that they're doing. If it's somebody that is similar, like you know, they have a, either a similar physique, a similar workout style, whatever, whatever it is to you, then you have new stuff that you can learn. You have new ways of like watching your form. You got all sorts of new stuff that you can get along with getting that motivation to get your ass up and get in the gym. We got two more sets of this. That sounds like two more tips. So stay tuned. Let's move this weight. Okay, second to last tip. Unless you can do it in a, in a positive, you know, just friendly, competitive way, avoid comparing yourself to anybody else. So like I said, I'm competitive, but I still also understand this is my fitness journey. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, there are, there are a lot of women out here that are stronger than me. There's a lot of female powerlifters in my weight class that are way stronger than I am. And I'm competing with them in my mind, but I'm not beating myself up because I'm not as strong as they are yet. There's always gonna be somebody that has a better physique, more strength, higher numbers, whatever the CrossFit lingo is. Like, there's always gonna be somebody better. But you gotta like, you have to understand that fitness in general is about being the best you. You know what I'm saying? So 
don't let anybody's journey make you question your own because you don't need that type of setback that's like that type of mental setback this fitness journey is so mental you got to keep a strong mind that's like two tips in one keep a strong mind and don't compare yourself to anybody else in a negative light compare yourself you know if you're gonna do it in a healthy way like I said but just make sure that you understand as long as you're doing your best as long as you're making your results at your pace you're doing something good we got one more set then an am wrap then I got two accessory movements and I got about 10 minutes to do all of that I don't know how <laughs> something might be getting skipped the bench is not gonna get skipped though last set then the am wrap last tip on the way Good morning, YouTube. It's actually the next day, like the next morning, because I ended up having to like really rush through the accessory work. What I'm doing right now is getting my breakfast together. I already have lunch together. We got the rotisserie chicken with lots of hot sauce on it. Over here, we got basmati rice down in the bottom and steamed spinach right there on the top. What we got going for breakfast over here is some potatoes and I'm gonna put the rest of the spinach in there and then some egg whites and possibly some turkey sausage but anyway the last the final tip for getting started on your fitness journey is to mentally prepare yourself for this to be a life a lifetime change even if you have a, a specific date that you're working towards like if you want to lose some weight for a wedding or a party or a big event or whatever still entertain the idea of this being a lifestyle change that's why i said i don't do i don't really agree with fad diets because like that's for a time period right i i, I kind of believe in stuff that has long, more longevity because once you start smashing goals you're not going to want to stop there's nothing wrong with incorporating fitness into your overall lifestyle it's you know it's just it's good money man so be prepared for this to change your life. Get in there, take into consideration all of the tips that I gave you. Sorry, this shirt is huge. I gotta help my mom move today, so I'm dressed kind of bummy, but you know, just, just be ready to take off. You know what I'm saying? Take all the stuff that I said, apply it, and just work your hardest, work your best, have fun with it, and it's gonna happen. So hopefully you guys are ready to get started on your, um, on your journeys hopefully some of the tips were helpful let me know down below some other tips that y'all have if you've already started your fitness journey like you know some other stuff that that you would have added if you had done this video really I'm really excited I'm really excited I haven't like cooked breakfast in a while this is how I know like I think I'm starting to I think I'm starting to feel better I don't know if this shirt gonna make it man I might put it in the car and wear another one but um yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to get back going, to get back started, and to really do my thing. Get this physique right, too. See, I'm cooking egg whites and spinach and hash browns and shit for breakfast. So, we in there. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like it for me. Share it with anybody. Um, I already asked you to comment down below, but comment anything else you got. Subscribe to the channel, please. We almost at 600, baby. And, uh, yeah, just keep your energy up. Keep your spirits high. All that being said, y'all take it easy. I'll catch you next time.